Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Done the chief building action. Coming to you from the AM. One o'clock in the morning. Here I am in the shop. Just woke up from my nap. <laughs> Took me a day off or so, man. No, it didn't seem like me and Paul got a whole lot done. But we had a lot to go over. And uh, I sure like Paul. We had some good company. Paul is good company. <laughs> okay, but this is what I got going. Even though I'm a day off, people, I still got to come out here and shop. <laughs> I've got my front part of my duct. See, this is where it gets bigger and it droops down, okay? Now, I just checked this on my inlets. This is the exact same size, remember, because it all was the exact same size foam. I put two layers of 10 ounce and a layer of four over the top of both of them. Now what we got is we're exactly the same size. I just checked it. It's exactly the same size. Now what we want to do is we want to put a flange on this. So this piece will actually go over the top of my tube. You know what I mean? So this will slide over them two pieces. I took me a piece of uh, my glass I got laid up. Already primed, smooth. And uh, I'm just going to glue it on here. Now this after, like I said, man, I, I glassed it today and uh, just got through priming on it and get it all nice and get most of that bond of work done before you ever put any primer on it, man. It just saves money. Now, I need to, I'm just going to take my CA. Oh, someone said something about my who said something about my kicker in the aerosol? Yeah. I've seen this at the hobby shops for about three or four years now. This is Great Plains. I got it at the hobby store. Comes with a little tube like WD-40 so you can get it in places. But I like this aerosol stuff too. You know, a lot of times it don't take but just the tiniest to squirt. That can last for a long time. I've always had trouble with them pumps, man. I never did like them pumps much. You know, I bought the refill bottles when I was building them wood planes, you know, and a refill, the squirt bottle never lasts as long as a refill bottle. <laughs> you know? But, uh, me and Paul got a lot done. We got this elevator deal. This is all ready to roll. I gotta stick it in. I gotta put it in the plane one more time and uh, cut out my rudder hole. Then tomorrow we're gonna do some stuff to that fuselage and uh, lay up the last few of my parts. I got. I'm gonna get on a rudder mold. I gotta cut a bunch of wood. We finally got our snow, people. It's winter time in Hayesville. <laughs> we got dumped on. I was going to go get some wood today to uh, cut up all my wood for that new wing and that my rudder. And uh, Dang, man, it was snowing so hard I couldn't put no wood in the back of my truck. It was like a blizzard out there. But we basically just want to uh, glue this strip all the way around there and then I'll start my primer and what we'll end up with is a nice flange that my ports will slide right inside. Probably going to have to do a little bondoing to fill any kind of gap. John will probably have a bunch of pictures posted up on our website from uh, last weekend. John came down from Chicago to take some pictures. 
That's pretty much what he just what he came down for is just to take pictures and post to post them up on the website and, and visit with Paul. So he's been home for a day now. It usually takes him a couple of days to sort through them pictures and get them posted up on our site. Bunch of good ones. He sure got some nice camera equipment, man. It's unreal. You know, a little big, it needs to flatten out anyway. See, there's a gap there at the bottom. So I'll fill that with Bondo. I'm kind of hoping that would turn out that way, to tell you the truth. Now I know my part will slide in there. Exacto, exacto, exacto. And really, a lot of this stuff is easy, people. All you got to do is you got to kind of think ahead. You know, like what's this going to do? What's, you know, you got to think. What's going to happen if you make this part like this, and how's that going to work, and, you know, that's about all there is to it when you're computer free, got no sissy cab machine, <laughs> no, all this is possible because of a cab machine, but. I just ain't got one here to do a lot of this work for me. I'll do it old school. Bam! Now we got a little bit of gap to fill there. A little bit of gap to fill there. There on the bottom. You can see it'll come out square. That's just how we want it. Fill that little gap right there. You'll never know I put a ring there. I'll get that all primed up. Bam, it'll look good. Now, let's make sure we got enough glue in there. We don't want nothing coming loose. Kick her down in there. Okay. This will be the last part to my duck, people. I'll be able to, I'm going to prime this before I go to bed. Tomorrow I can sand it, lay it apart. These molds go quick. Pretty much the last leg of our build, people. Won't be long. It's thunder teeth be done. I hope you guys realize that. See, we're just going to fill it up. Level it off. 